Tana Mojo breaks down and opens up to her fans literally like no other. We'll tell you what she said and why she's trying to be a role model now. I'm Kelsey Betis and you're watching The Daily Report. Tana Mojo has long been labeled a controversial YouTuber with drama ranging from a failed convention to marrying Jake Paul. The latter half, which was captured on her MTV reality show last year called MTV No Filter, Tana turns 21. Her relationship with Jake Paul became the main attraction of the first season, and by the time they were picked up for a second season, that relationship had ended. So reality being what it is, the second season really focused on Tana's health. Tana had been suffering from a cough for a very long time and actively avoiding seeing a doctor about it. It. But in an episode that aired two weeks ago, her manager Jordan takes her to a specialist and she whines about it the whole time that she is there. After some x-rays, they claim that she just has asthma and that's when exhausted and somewhat relieved Tana tuned out and went back to smoking despite the doctor's recommendation to stop. On the show, Tana appears to be rude to the doctor and to the nurse and treats her diagnosis so cavalier that fans were upset with how she was taking care of herself. She experienced quite a bit of backlash which prompted her to make her first apology video of 2020. In an hour-long video titled Letting You In on the Truth About MTV Depression Plus a Life Update, Tana talks about why she shouldn't have signed on to a season two of the show. She explains, quote, When I agreed to that and signed that paperwork, I really didn't think I would decline overall as a person, my overall health as much as I did. I think that MTV kind of obviously saw that happening. I think they were kind of waiting around for Jake and I's conclusion, if we were gonna break up or stay together or what was gonna happen for them to start filming season two. She goes on to say that she doesn't blame anyone but herself for this mess and that it was up to her to get herself out of it. She spoke more about her depression as well and how she became addicted to Xanax. She told fans, quote, I was definitely taking enough to where I wasn't trying to kill myself, but I definitely didn't care if I died. Right before they started filming season two, Tana confessed to Jordan how much she had been taking and it was Jordan who informed her that that much Xanax could have killed her. On top of the pills, her cough was getting worse and she was exhausted from filming the show. The hours of filming boiled down into three minute scenes means they were able to get the most dramatic parts of conversations. She goes on to say she hates who she was at that time and wishes the footage wasn't out there and reassured fans, quote, I will never, ever, ever go back to a place that was that dark. Eventually, she realized about four weeks into filming that she had to help herself. She said, quote, I knew that if I didn't change something, I was going to die. Whether it was from a drug overdose, complete exhaustion, or letting my suicidal thoughts get the best of me. Or if I didn't take care of my health to the point of no return. Tana then moved out of her place and into an apartment for the remainder of filming so that she could focus on improving her physical and mental health in every way possible. And now, after months, she admits that she's finally in a place to be a role model. After opening up about her depression, she encouraged fans to get the help that they need. And we totally agree. If you or someone you know needs help, please see the link in the description below to talk to someone and get the help that you need. Thank you all so much for watching us here on the Awesomeness TV Dealer Report channel. I'm Kelsey Banis, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.